Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And to answer a question I've had a few times in the past couple of weeks concerning the core apps of Windows 10 and the core apps of Windows 11, um, a lot of you have been saying, well, you know, Windows 11 is at its base very similar to Windows 10. So there are core apps that are being updated to Windows 11 for a new look and a new feel. So a lot of you have been asking me because, you know, if that new look will come to uh, Windows 10. And uh, what's going to happen with the core apps? So when we talk about core apps, for example, uh, we talk about your phone app. We talk about, um, you know, paint. We talk about uh, the apps like uh, Snip and Sketch. Um, we talk about, you know, uh, Groove Music, which is pretty much getting deprecated, but, you know, things like that, uh, that happen to be part of what we use in Windows. So, a lot of these apps are, of course, um, you know, updated through the Microsoft Store, and that includes the ones that come from... Um, you know Windows 10 a lot of them have been moved to the Microsoft Store uh, notepad as another example they will be updated and I suspect that some of the functionalities that you get from these new apps so when you go to the uh, upper right in the Microsoft Store go into downloaded updates you'll see that these apps actually update uh, but you won't get the same feel as in Windows 11. A lot of what the Windows 11 apps use are kind of integrated core processes that automatically gives them, you know, the rounded edges and stuff like that, which is part of Windows 11. But it doesn't mean because you don't have the rounded edges and necessarily the same uh, exact look that they won't have the same features. I suspect that for a while core apps of Windows 10 will be updated have similar features they just won't have the same look and feel but you'll be able to do pretty much the same thing um, because they are you know still the same apps it's really just they're taking on a, a look for the new uh, Windows 11 operating system uh, remember also another thing that I've been asked about apps because a lot of people say well you know I reinstalled Windows and now I don't have the updated apps like I had before I have the old apps and I want to have the new ones back and I don't understand why they're not there remember that installing Windows 10 whatever version you are installing even if it's the latest version the core apps that come with that image are old apps so the best thing to do is once you've installed if you use some of these apps and they're not up to date is to go to the Microsoft Store and once again on the upper right corner go into download and updates and click get updates it's gonna force the Microsoft Store to go and fetch the latest version of each apps a little trick it sometimes takes several steps. It doesn't update from like the old app to the new app directly. It does it in a certain sequence. So you might need to do this several times before you actually are up to date with the latest apps. So it's very important to, uh, to understand that. Um, that's the way you get a lot of these apps to their latest core apps um, in Windows 10. So, and, um, you know, this is a way that more and more apps are actually going to be updated because Microsoft is trying to avoid having to fetch or to send a new Windows version just because it needs to update apps, uh, which was always the case in the old days, uh, you know, even like in Windows 7 or even in the first versions of Windows 10, where a lot of the apps to be updated needed a update of the Windows operating system also. Uh, through the Windows updates or cumulative updates. So this is something that you got to uh, understand is that now they're kind of independent and separate. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.